um, what I have been noticing as we are talking is how directing is so woven in so many places and with all the elements and throughout uh, any piece of psychodrama or even a, a full day when I, when I see you direct the full day workshop there is so much of directing of like in a piece of psychodrama there is so much of directing of the day mm. that you know the traffic cop and what you said that mm. what to allow and what not to allow and all that mm. so um, what I also understood is that you are looking at uh, the director being somebody who is taking care of the safety, being the container in a lot of ways, mm. you know. Um, anything else apart from all this that comes to mind that one should take care of while directing or um, from the psychodrama method or approach perspective, what di- what is directing all about in its sense? Well, to my mind, the director is going on a journey. So the director is going into the unknown. This is very different than a play where there's a script. Because the script is being written through the enactment. Mm. The interpretation is happening through the enactment. So as the protagonist is doing their drama and being involved in it and there's a whole conversation going on, role reversals, all of the different techniques are being done. Mm. They're experiencing something. It's, it's a drama which is unfolding. Yes. And when you're starting as a director, you don't know what is going no, to unfold. You don't. This, and, and the interpretation is in the act. So at a certain point, let's say before you were the spirit of the table, under the table, and you're hearing this fight and suddenly you realise who started the fight and what it's about. And suddenly as the spirit of the table, you become the truth sayer. Yes. And you know perfectly well what this is about. There's no doubt. It's it's Mm. it's obvious. Yes. So that's why we say the interpretation is in the act. So the thing about psychodrama and director is to know when to get out of the way. No, and then to get out of the way. And that's most of the time. <laughs> yeah. And, and when to go in, when to touch, when not to touch. Yes. Sometimes when people touch, they actually stop the person from crying. Yeah. It's like a, they're there and they don't, don't need to be touched. Sometimes I'll put my hand out and I'll realise, no, it's not... So I might just leave my hand there. It's there, a presence behind their back, but I haven't touched them. Mm. If I do touch someone they need stroking, I stroke up, not down. So that the, uh, the life force comes from our chakras, our lowest chakras up, so you follow the yes, chakra. Yes, like even yesterday in one of the dramas when you were wanting the protagonist to um, fight very strongly against something that is uh, has, a, has a very oppressive pushback. Mm. Uh, you are also asking all of us uh, to stroke her up her spine so that all the energy is coming up. Exactly. So it's not just when we are helping them to kathar, no. so that all of the mm. um, whatever pent up crying mm. or pain or sadness or grief, whatever is held in, goes out. Mm. But it's also to uh, um, to bring up the life energy. Mm. Bring up the life energy. Mm. Exactly. Yes. And, and I was very amazed at how you were instructing her to feel the life energy go up her spine. Yes. You know, go up into the action that she needed to do yes. for herself. It is yes. awesome. Yes. So, so, uh, so there is the role of not getting in the way um, to know when to touch and not to touch. Mm. Then to help people uh, bring up their life force, um, what else? Well, in the role of chief therapist, Moreno called it chief therapist, it's an old term now. People, mm. I don't think I'd hear anybody say chief therapist, but you might say therapist. There's a therapist role, so what is that? A person who makes meaning out of something, a person who's wise. So, you know, for example, if somebody's crying, I might move closer to them if I know or feel that that's right, or I may not, if I feel they need their space. 
But the thing I will say is breathe. I use the term breathe a lot. So I'll say breathe, just keep breathing, breathe in, breathe out. Sometimes I'll make a joke if it's very intense and everyone's all intense and I'll go, you know what, I only, I've been telling people to breathe for years and then I, uh, I suddenly realised that I hadn't told them to breathe out. <laughs> and everyone yeah. kind of has a bit of a laugh, yes. which we do because it's, of course, you know, it's obvious. Uh, but that loosens things up, but it doesn't distract, it doesn't distract from the person in the feeling. I'm not taking them away from their feeling. No. I might be just helping the audience relax a little bit mm -hmm. and the protagonist relax a little bit, maybe not so, because sometimes people get worried that they're taking up too much time or, oh, what are people going to think of me, you know, in, in this emotional space or, oh my God, I've never experienced Rest any feeling in front of people before, so there's that level of therapist role, yes, which a non-therapist can have. If you're working in business and you're doing a drama, associate drama, or you're doing some kind of role training in a business area, the director still needs to have a therapist role, even yes. though they're not a therapist. No, that which is taking care of, allowing the person to breathe, or be okay when they're experiencing deep feeling. Yes. So there's many, many roles of the director, like they're the social investigator. What year was it? What year was it this happened? What do women in your family do in this occasion? So these are roles of the social investigator. Now, why do we have these roles? Because as soon as I ask you what do the women in your family what are the women in your family um, thinking about working and earning yeah. money and different things like that? Yeah. You are now getting warmed up to the women in your family, yes. which deepens the warmer. So my question is not because I want to find out. I'm wanting you. It's a question which is an aid of to my find mama. out yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. Also, so many times, uh, like I've seen you when when you you're doing a scene setting and all that, mm. it brings up the context yes. so strongly for them. That exactly. You know, when did it happen? And where were you sitting? And how did you look? So it's from um, bringing the entire context onto the stage. Exactly. Where it may have happened originally, or mm. what is still staying in them, and all that. So it makes the entire work so real. So it's like that entire moment of time in its. Mm, in as much of its reality is recreated on stage. Exactly. So, yeah. 